What is up, everybody? We are here at Vegas Auto Fest, and I know a lot of you guys may not know what that is, but we're here to check out the Vegas car scene, and specifically, I'm here today to talk about supercars, especially the ones we see here throughout town, especially down on the strip. But I'm specifically gonna talk about my five favorite supercars that I see here today, but let's just get right into it. My name's Trent, and you're watching God Next. All right, so the first car I wanna talk about today is gonna to be this McLaren 765LT. And just to give you guys a little bit of background, I actually used to work for McLaren back in Newport Beach when I used to live in California. So one thing I really do love about this car is this is actually one of the very only, or very few McLarens that I have never actually driven. It came out after I had left that job, but some things I do like about this car is this car is powered by a twin turbocharged V8 producing 755 horsepower. So this thing's an absolute monster. It shares a lot of similarities with the 720S. And another thing about this car that, you know, I really like about it is this car is finished in fistral blue, which I think is a perfect color for this car. It looks great. It stands out a lot, especially among all these other supercars around here. This one really caught my eye first, but this car has some good features and some not so good features. Some of the good features are this thing is an ultimate track beast. Honestly, this thing is built for performance. It's pretty bare bones on the inside. You're not getting a lot of creature comforts that you do with some of the other uh, brands, cars and stuff like that, but it's not really meant to be comfortable. This is a supercar to be honest, and it's pretty sick if you ask me. If I'm buying a car like this, I'm not wanting to take it out on the streets every day anyways. Another feature you guys might not know about this car, the LT in 765LT actually stands for long tail because this is basically just a long tail version of the 720S. So that's another cool little feature. And this one does have a few distinct things that stand out on it compared to, again, its sister 720S, that being the tail on this one. The spoiler is a little bit bigger, it's more pronounced, but this one also does have quad tip exit exhaust. So it looks really good, sounds good, really good, and overall, I wanna say this is probably my favorite supercar here today. But let's move on to the next one. So my next car is gonna be this Ferrari SF90 Spider. And one thing I really do like about this car, I actually do like the white paint job on this car. It looks really nice, it's sleek. You know, Ferrari's known for the red, you see yellow Ferraris, they all look good, but I do sometimes like the simplicity of just the white paint. Now, a couple of cool things I do like about this car, you do got the yellow trim throughout this car. You got it on the front, you got it on the back and stuff like that but this car does have carbon fiber wheels which add a little bit more structure extra you know lightweight more performance supercars of this they're going to be pretty light but let's talk about what's underneath the hood back there of this car this car does is powered by a 986 horsepower powertrain twin turbocharged v8s and this thing is just insane this thing is a track monster they say this thing has a zero to 60 in the same amount of time it takes a prius prime driver to just buckle their seat belts so this thing is pretty insane, but let's move on to the next car. So my third car on the list is going to be none other than the 992 GT3 RS. And there's a lot of reasons why I like this car. I've been a massive Porsche fan since I was honestly a little kid. So this has been my dream car and I've actually driven one of these and they're super fun. But I wanna talk about some of the performance specs on this car. This car does have a four liter naturally aspirated V6 or flat six actually naturally aspirated flat six producing 518 horsepower and it may not be the most powerful car here but porsche just does it right this thing screams when you're in those high rpm ranges and honestly it's just a fun car to drive it's a fun car to look at they've porsche has really improved upon this in my opinion over the 991 gt3 rs i really like the swan neck tail i do like how this does have active aerodynamics so you're hitting a certain speed or you can adjust it manually this little flap right here will adjust for better downforce and better just overall aerodynamics now, I don't know which particular shade this car is finished in. I thought it was acid green, but it's a shade off. But we all know Porsche has honestly thousands of colors. They have a whole website basically dedicated to just their color palette. But this one does have a interesting color. It's an interesting colorway with the green and the blue, but it doesn't look bad. And I think if we're going to go with a car like this, you've got to do something crazy. I just think it's a great looking car and honestly one of my dream cars. So the fourth car on my list may not look like your standard supercar, but this one is super, that being super big. But this is a 2017 AMG G63 conversion. So this has been converted from the standard G63 into a six by six. But 
the shop that did this, they did an amazing job. It looks really good. Very reminiscent of RDB LA and what they do to cars like this and just the overall high performance luxury brand conversion shop. It's got the same power unit as the 2017 AMG G63 with 563 horsepower and a 5.5 liter V8 powering this thing. So this thing isn't, you know, gonna be super fast. It's gonna be pretty heavy since it is a six by six, but nonetheless, it's a super cool car. You never see these, honestly. And one of my best friends, he actually works for Mercedes and I honestly, I don't even think he's ever seen one of these. So it's pretty cool to see it out here in Vegas. But let's move on to the next one. So the last car on my list, um, I might get some hate for this. It's honestly not one of my favorites. I, sure I could have done a lot better job in my opinion. I think this thing is fuck ugly. It is personally not my favorite car. I, I do not like the grill on this car. I think it's ugly. But one thing I do want to give, I do think it's cool is this is only the second V8 powered front engine Ferrari ever built. It's got a good amount of horsepower. I think it's somewhere up in the 600. So it's definitely a powerful car. Yeah, it's a Ferrari, so you're expecting that. But I just honestly, I think this thing is ugly, especially the Spider version. The top on this thing kind of looks trashy, I guess. It looks tacky. It's just, if I look at this one and then I look at the SF90 Spider that we saw earlier, I'm taking the SF90, even though, you know, it's 10 times more expensive, it seems like. But I don't know. I still think it's a cool car because it's a Ferrari, but definitely not my favorite. But I will give it the fifth spot because it is still a good looking, or well, not good looking, it's still a Ferrari. So it deserves to be up there, I guess. So there you guys have it. Those are just some of my favorite cars I see here at AutoFest. You'll see a lot of cars like this sometimes driving around town, just like you see honestly anywhere else, especially down in LA. But I know some of you guys may not agree with my favorite cars, but there's a lot of supercars here and it's hard to just narrow it down to five. I did my best, but. Anyways, if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to check in next time. If you guys want to see more, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.